Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Lindsay McHale, professional choreographer and dancer, and uh, it's been a long time since I've been on here, so I want to first and foremost apologize for being MIA. I definitely haven't forgotten about BTS and all the videos that I need to catch up on, but um, I was doing a little bit of traveling over the last two weeks, and it was really hard for me to bring like all my stuff, and anyways, it was an amazing trip. I was in Peru, and Heidi... Um, you tell me that you always watch my shows and my channel, so I'm actually going to thank you, first of all. I'm hoping you're watching this one. Thank you for reaching out to me on Instagram and DMing me and letting me know all the amazing food to try, all the places to go, the desserts, the ceviche, everything. Um, your country is very, very beautiful, Heidi. So thank you so much for all the suggestions, and hopefully I can go back to Peru soon. And I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, tu país es muy bonito, Heidi. So that was your country's very beautiful. Anyways, enough of me chit chatting about that. I'm actually going to be doing dope today. I've seen the video for dope before. I've actually commented, I think on my friend Blake's channel, but a lot of you guys have been asking me to do dope. So today I'm going to be doing the music video. And then right after that, I'm going straight into the rehearsal video so I can talk about the choreography. Um, so it's not so much a blind reaction to the music video because I have seen it once before, but it would be a good refresher. And then I have a lot more, a shit ton more videos coming up. I have all the ones that you guys have asked me to do, and I'm going to be knocking them out like crazy. So thanks so much for staying tuned and being a part of this. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if you guys want to learn some of the dopest choreography, dope, um, that BTS does, I'm going to be actually posting the choreography onto my Patreon page, and it's going to be me teaching you how to do the choreography. So for those that are interested, definitely click Clink. Click the lo uh, click the link in the description below. If I can learn how to talk, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, let's get started on some choreography. In the meantime, let's check out Dope. And as always, this is with love. Dope music video. Let's get it. I'm watching from a screen a little bit further today, so sorry. <laughs> He's so cute. And I have the subtitles so I can see it. This is why I'm learning this choreography because it's so fucking dope. Like the choreographer killed it. All right, I'm gonna stop real quick because um, I have to be honest, this is the first time I'm actually watching subtitles and seeing what they're saying in English. So um, for all those that know, I, I know you guys have been telling me to watch the subtitles, but I haven't. And sometimes I try not to because I want to be able to really focus on just the, the choreography and the music video. And it's a lot going on. Like I've never been someone that really likes to even watch movies with subtitles because I can't really see and like read at the same time. It's just too much for me. So, but to like look at the lyrics and see what they're saying I finally get what y'all are talking about. Like they are inspirational and they're talking about like how they're full of hope and look, we're dope from head to toe. Um, I think the video so far is amazing. I love like in the beginning scene, you can see that um, as they're doing like certain dance movements, the videographer is actually going in and out with the camera. And I think it adds to the choreography even more. Like it adds to the dopeness of everything because um, they did a really good job of working well together with doing those little camera uh, nuances with the choreography to add that. So, and I love the fact that they're like talking about how like they've been working all day and night and now they're ready to like fucking just rip everything off and like they're all in their little outfits. They're so cute and they have different like vibes and style. And then they're like in the office, like just jamming out. I love it. Like I've always wanted to work in an office where like everyone could dance and we're just like, you know, all right, anyways, let's watch the video. I love the lights up there like that. That's really cool. All right, 
I have to stop it again. This has nothing to do with the video, but look at his little outfit. He's so cute. <laughs> it reminds me of an outfit that my mom dressed my brother in when he was like probably five years old and graduating from like kindergarten. Um, I'm no joke. If I can find that picture, I'm going to show it one day. But he was wearing like a little suit and <laughs> bow tie with the high knee socks, like the knee high socks and the shorts. It's so adorable. Super like 80s. And I definitely have a thing for like nerdy kind of like vibes. So I love this. It's like my favorite outfit so far. <laughs> with his little glasses. He's so cute. I freaking love him too. I, you know what? People have been asking me about my bias so far. I can't really get it. That's probably my favorite part. I don't know why. Hey, yay. Good footwork. All right, I love that part. So actually, the reason I really like this choreography, hi, say everyone, it's Murphy, he came to say hi. Um, the reason I really like this part of the video is because the truth is, is like, there's not so much like fire and smoke and mirrors going on that it takes away from the choreography. Like when they were just dancing right there, the lights were kind of going with it, but the room isn't crazy. There's not like a lot of crazy decorations and like flames and fire. It was like... Everything else was background, so you could really like watch them kill the choreography. And that's what I like, I, probably because I'm you know, a dancer. I really love music videos that like either have dance breaks or focus on choreography like that, where they don't have so much going on to distract you. And, and I, I think the choreography is that worthy of having it just be super phenomenal, so. Ooh, the media's been denouncing them, but listen. <laughs> denounce BTS. I love it. Of course, my dog wants to play. <laughs> Get it. Their transitions are great. The freaking beat to this song, I'm always over the top too. Hey, yay. Sorry. Yay, back it. All right, so one of the things I love about their videos is that their transitions from different scenes are really cool. Like so far, like they, you know, they either turn and the camera slides this way or slides this way. Another one goes down, another one's popping up. Like the, the transitions are really like unique and cool to watch. And um, I think they do a really great job with that, not just with the videography, but the choreography as well. So. <laughs> Nothing like lying wax. They whack. Every day's a hustle. They are. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Get it. I'm kind of dope. They ain't lying. Okay, so right here I'm stopping this just because um, I, I might have missed it, but they have a couple, like two different formations going on depending on what, you know, what side of the video you're looking at. You know, you have the two guys in the front, um, that's Suga, and I believe that's RM. Sorry, the screen is like really far away. You have them up front, and then you have the three in the middle, and then the two in the back. But when you look from a, like a little bit of a diagonal angle, like you also see not the rows like this, but then you see like diagonal as well, and then they're also in formation this way, so that, that's really cool. Ooh, I love it. Freaking, freaking video is in, incredible, as always. Like, they, they can't top, well, 
they always continue to top each other. So let me say, I was gonna say nobody can top them, but let's move on now. I love the video. I think it's really cool for me. I kind of like it because growing up in this industry, like a lot of people would always tell me like, you should be a doctor, you should be a lawyer, you should be a surgeon, um, a vet, a engineer, whatever. And you know, um, I can't walk away from who I am. And, and I think that's really cool because in this video, they start out in like all these uniforms, you know, you have the race car driver, you have like the scientist guy, you have the lab tech guy, you have, you know, all of them are in uniform and then it's like they take all of that stuff off and they're just in like their shirts and their ties and they just kill it. So to me, it kind of like strikes a chord with me because it's almost like I had no clue what the video was actually talking about until watching the lyrics for the first time. But it's almost like they were like shedding their skin of like what everyone else thinks they need to be doing and they're just focusing on being dope like they say they are. So um, I freaking loved it. Let's move over to the choreography now. And that way I can kind of just talk about the choreography and not just uh, the video, so. If I can just figure out how to work the screen. It looks so different already, because there's nothing going on. Hey. So look at the three guys in the back right now. Um, I, I love it. Well, I, I can't tell who's behind him, but you have Sugar and you have Jimin. Um, one of the things that they do really well when it comes to like popping and isolations, there's definitely a difference between like isolating and popping. And we'll get into that like when I actually go on my Patreon and teach you guys how to do these movements. But one of the things that they look really great doing, and this is what I tell all my dancers, when you're like stopping and you're hitting a pose, you better own it. Like you gotta stop and don't move. And if you watch them in the back, like they're hitting this, there is not one movement. Like you don't see them like moving their hair, well, not that they have a lot of hair, but like if they have an itch, you don't see them itching it. You don't see them moving anything. I tell my students, like when you hit and you're supposed to stay somewhere, if you're looking over here, like I want you to stay looking over there. I don't even want your eyes to move back this way because you can actually see that. So they do this really well. Own it, commit to it, stay in it, and don't move until you have to move again. So they do it really well, and that's why it looks great. Don't even breathe if you can't. <laughs> Just kidding. that slow motion like we talked about see how they went from boom and then slow and then they like hyped it quickly back up and then they go the other way they have that pop first before they do it because I've mentioned this before when you go to do something slow motion if I just start like this it doesn't really catch your eye right but if I'm like boom and then I slow down you see that happen and you see the the different texture of it it's it's more eye-catching so they do that phenomenal here this is a good breathing moment breathe Drill Sergeant Lindsay's coming out for just a moment. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, because again, it's really hard for me to tell, but in the red shirt, that looks like V right now. I could be wrong. I feel like in this moment, it just kind of was thrown away from me a little bit. Like, I don't think that moment with the four of them doing all this is really that strong. This part is good, but then they do something with their arms and their arms are coming down. And it's like, I don't know if the energy's not there. It almost looks like they're... I don't know, not feeling it. They're just doing it, if that makes any sense. So like, I think V could have really gone a little bit harder in that moment. But again, that's like normal dance. Like we all do that. I mean, it's rehearsal, so. Like right there, like push that shit away. Like don't, don't hold back. Now he's killing it. Look at how clean they are right there. Boom, right there. Okay, homeboy in the front, not Jimin, but um, the next one behind him, he's a little 
little bit too low, a little bit low if you're like really um, stopping and freezing like I'm doing, but you would never really see that on stage. But I mean, just look at everything right now. Uh, for me also too, I would actually tell sugar, like I want your head to go the other way. Like you can see some of them have their head kind of like leaning a little bit and then like sugar's going the opposite way. And then like maybe two of them have it like slightly facing forward. So for me, um, I don't know. I'd be like, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, again, it's not something that you would really notice when you know you're watching it live because these are little small nuances. But like we're we're talking about it. That's what we're doing. And then also, um, yeah, their feet look perfect. Everything else looks great. Their arms are looking clean and tight. Yeah, I would just be like, let's let's figure out the head going here. <laughs> I love the freaking footwork here. I love that part too because they're basically going from one like facing front to like an angle and like hopping with the beat at the same time. And what's really smart about that is when you're doing that as a group, the best thing for you to do is actually like listen for your 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 stomps and your feet because if you hear like da 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 da, you know that like nobody's together. It should sound like one big foot, um, big foot. But uh, also at the same time, like depending on what dancing you're doing, sometimes you want to be more light on your feet. This is fine. But like for ballet, like you're not going to want to sound like a herd of elephants jumping across the floor. Like they're being graceful. So, but they have great footwork here. I love that part. See how they froze right there? They stop. Mm. All right, let's talk about this right here. When he comes up, Jimin and Sugar on one side and then V, and I can't tell his face is down with his hat, so I can't really tell who that is on the other side. Um, but in this moment, they both came out at the same time, but the two guys in the front, uh, Jimin and V, they have to go out further. So I really like this transition because they're both doing the same thing, but he, Jimin's going out a little bit further than Sugar's gonna go out, and then whoever's gonna come in next is gonna slide into that window. So um, it was a really cool way of doing a formation, actually. See, they just went right into that spot, right into that window. I love that when they're like, doom, do, like they hit every single beat. Anime, anime, okay. Here we go again. Hey, yay. So this is the part I'm talking about. Let's see if he does it. This part with the arms. See, yeah, yeah, that one was better. It was tighter. Let's get it, get it, go. Yes. Oh, oh. It's just the choreography is so fucking smooth, though. Like, it's really cool. I don't want to say dope because it's kind of cheesy to say, but it is dope. I love his falsetto here. Uh, get it. They're doing that sharp right there. See how nobody's moving uh, until now. Yes. Come on, they're gonna do the choreography from the beginning now. Let's freeze them. The only reason I'm doing that is let's check out the level. See, like, they're so good. They're so clean, look at that. They're pretty perfect, pretty perfect right there. Yep, I have nothing to say. Spacing is good. breathe in. <laughs> All right, guys. So there's really not much to say about this rehearsal. Um, I would love to work with them and actually like, because I know that they probably learned this like really quickly because they're so professional. They probably learn the dance and then probably do a few rehearsals to clean it. But I love when people can like pick it up like really quickly. Um, I think the only thing that I would like work with them on in this, for this rehearsal that I saw is just a couple little very minute details like we talked about. Um, if everyone's head is going this way, everyone needs to be going this way, right? If everyone's like, you know, mid, it needs to just be there. So there was just a couple moments that like, 
again, the naked eye wouldn't see, but because I'm freezing it, I'm able to see it. So what I like to do with some of my um, students and my classes that I teach is when we are going into competition and I know that we have to be perfect, I videotape it and I go back and I watch it and I will literally like freeze things. I watch it over and over and I take notes and then we go back and rehearsal the next day and we watch it. Um, and I'm sure that, I don't know if they do necessarily that, but every single performer always has to go back and watch themselves because, you know, sometimes we don't even realize that we're doing certain things until your coach or your teacher or your instructor or your choreographer is telling you that you're doing it. And like, you don't even realize it. Like you're like, oh, I thought I was doing it right. So that's why A, we have rehearsal mirrors so we can rehearse in, but then it's hard to watch yourself sometimes when you're like turning. So it's always good to like record yourself and then like watch it back. So you kind of know what corrections you need to make. Um, that was fucking dope. It, I mean, the choreography was dope. The video was dope. The lyrics are dope. They're dope. It makes a lot of sense. Anyways, y'all, um, I have so many videos to check up on. So thank you again for all the subscribers. Thank you guys for commenting and letting me know what videos you want me to check out and other groups. A lot of people have been telling me about other groups. So I am getting all of your suggestions. Please let me know and I will be posting more videos daily. And now that I'm back, I'm definitely getting on this grind of learning the choreography and teaching it. So if you guys are interested in learning dope along with some of the other stuff I'm gonna be doing, please check out my Patreon page and let me know what you would like to learn and I'll be more than happy to teach you. Until next time, guys, peace.